Hi everybody, this is Pulkit Chabda and in this video we will be discussing the problem unit, unit GCD of uh, the April Long Challenge Division 2. So let me read out the problem to you guys. Chef has a recipe book. Uh, he wishes to read it completely as soon as possible so that he could try to cook the dishes uh, blah blah. The book uh, has pages numbered from 1 to n. Over a series of days, Chef wants to read each page. On each day he can choose any set of pages such that there are no prime there is no prime that divides uh, the number of the numbers of two or more of these pages that is the number of pages he reads on the same day must be pairwise co-prime okay it basically means that the gcd of every pair uh, in the included in the set should be one right uh, for example he can read pages 1 3 and 10 on one day since 1, 3, 3, 10 and 1, 10 are co-prime integer pairs of integers. However, he cannot read 1, 3, 6 because 3 and 6 are not co-prime. They are both divisible by 3. Uh, since he might get bored, he will uh, read exactly each page exactly once. Okay. Given and determine the minimum number of days he needs to read the entire book and the pages he should read on each of these days. Okay. Uh, first, we'll get the T. Uh, that is the number of test cases. Then the only first and only line will uh, of each test case will contain a single integer n for each test case we have to print a single integer d the minimum number of days required to print uh, read the book and then he says let's number these days from 1 to d then print d lines each describing the pages chef should read for each valid i the ith of these lines should contain ci followed by a space and ci integers the number of pages the numbers of the pages that uh, the chef should read on the other day. CA basically means represents the number of pages, the basically the count of pages he'll be re reading on that particular day. Okay, if there are multiple solutions, uh, we can print any of the solutions. Okay, the number of test cases can be 1 to 10 and n is up to 10 raised to power 6. Okay, so I'll be discussing the solution this point onwards. If you want to give it a try yourself, you can pause the video. It will be a good time to do that. The first basic, uh, you know, observation that we have to make here is that you uh, let's consider the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. We can be sure that if we choose any of the two even numbers are the GCD uh, is two the GCD is greater than or equal to two right the GCD uh, will be a multiple of two it will not be one right and what I'm basically trying to say is no two even numbers can be co-prime right so uh, he'll have to read all the even numbered pages on different days only different days right so uh, if we see between 1 and n there will be n by 2's floor value uh, even numbers right so it, it it means that we'll need at least uh, n by 2 days right at least n by 2 days to finish the book now if we basically try to come up with a you know pattern or a solution or a way to finish the book in exactly n by 2 pages that is floor of n by 2 pages we can be sure that it is going to be uh, you know the optimal uh, answer the minimum number uh, the, the answer that consumes a minimum number of days right because we have just established that we'll have to read all of the even numbers numbered pages on different days only and there are going to be n by 2's floor value uh, even numbers right so let's see how uh, how can we basically complete the book in exactly this many number of pages uh, ex in exactly this many number of days to do that uh, we just uh, we, we should be sure that on each day we have exactly one even number and we cover all of the odd numbers in those days right let's say uh, on day one day one i include the page two on day two i include the page four and six and eight and so on in the other in the rest of the pages but then what i can basically do here to cover the odd numbered pages as well is that include the page number one and three on the first day and then four and five can be read on 
second day, six and seven on third day, eight and nine on uh, fourth day, and so on. And uh, we can be sure that these are going to be co prime only because n and n plus one are always co prime, right? And one to three are co prime. We know that because the GCD of one and two is also one, uh, one and three is also one, and two and three is also. uh basically one only right and uh, these are two consecutive numbers always and they are always going to be co prime only we can be sure about that so uh, in this way in this way we can be sure that we have uh, you know consumed the minimum number of days only because we have exactly one prime number uh, one exactly one even number on each day and we have also covered all of the uh, odd numbers as well let's say the value of uh, n was 9 then we would have took Four days. Let's say the value of n was eight. Then simply we would have read only one page on the last day. So we can, uh, you know, basically consider a couple of cases uh, separately if n is odd or even, and we should handle the cases where uh, n is basically less than three. And these can be handled uh, in general. We can be sh we can print the first three. We can uh, read the first three pages on the first day and then two two on each day. uh consecutively right let's see uh, the implementation i had already coded and submitted it earlier i can let's yeah i have written down the code so first we'll have the number of test cases as the input then uh, the n which is the number of days if n equals 1 i'll simply need one day which is uh, this one represents the one the number of days uh this one represents that i'll be reading one uh, page on the first day and the page number is going to be one okay and else i'll uh, print n by 2 because n by 2 will be the number of days that i'll require right and uh, for each day uh, i am basically printing the num the number of pages i am that i'm going to read on that particular day and uh, the numbers of the pages like the ids of the pages that i am going to read on that particular day if i equals equal 0 it means uh, this is the first page that i am talking about this is the first day that i am talking about right uh, in this case uh, the n equals to 1 case has been handled separately now uh, we'll say that if the value of n is 2 i'll simply read two pages 1 and 2 on this day or else i'll read three pages that is 1 2 and 3 on this day right uh, if this is not the case if i is not equals to 0 uh, then i'll simply see that what what is the you know even number that is to be included on this particular day and it, we can simply get it by using this formula if we see for i equals to 0 even its value will be equals to 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 2 for i equals to 1 it is going to be uh, 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 4 and it is going to be like 6 8 uh, 10 and so on right so this is correct now if even plus 1 uh, if if plus 1 is less than or equals to n it means that if i can read two pages on this particular day then i'll just simply print two even and even plus 1 right like uh, let's say the value of n was 9 and i was on the third uh, like the fourth day which is i equals to 3 so my if would have been uh, 8 and if plus 1 is 9 would have been less than or equals to 9 i would have printed 8 and 9 but let's say the value of n was 8 only so in the same way i would have calculated the if to be 8 but in this case the next odd value would have been greater than the n value of n right then i wouldn't have printed uh, the 9 uh, i would have just printed 1 and f right then after that i'll print simply print a backslash n i hope the solution is clear it was pretty uh, you know just case handling only uh, yeah this is it the time complexity of this is going to be big of n only right and uh, uh, one thing i noticed i think you should uh, take care of uh, this fio you should use fast input output i'm not sure if you will uh, get time limit exceeded or not in the case if you don't use it because there are a lot of numbers that are to be printed in this particular uh, problem so you might get a tle if you don't use fast input output Yeah so this was it for this video guys see you guys in the next video thank you very much